Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. So in the previous video we talked about uh, the use cases, functional requirement, non-functional requirement and all the different users who are going to use this application like uh, end user who is going to put an order, admin who is restaurant owner and the delivery guy. So all these different users will have a login mechanism. They will log in and then they will be able to enter into the system like delivery guy. He will just see the task like okay this is a pickup, this is a delivery and there can be a multiple tasks queued up for the delivery guy. Honor, he should be able to see, he or she should be able to see the list of incoming orders and the payment status delivered and all these things. And the user, user will see all the, the list of uh, the restaurants nearby where he can put an order, okay. So these are like very basic requirement and then once he, he or she puts an order, he should be able to track the order like what is the, the restaurant status, who is the delivery guy, all this information keeps coming to the user once he orders uh, a particular item. Okay, so these are just a high level overview how the system is going to be. Now we are entering into the system design phase. Okay, and we decided that this application will be a front end web based application means this is going to be used on the desktop client okay we can extend it to a mobile application later okay so this is the user and this is our whole system okay this is our uh, swiggy system let's say Okay, so the interaction of user will be based on the login. So we will maintain the session of a user. Once user is logged in, we may receive some kind of a token and all these requests will be further authorized based on the token. Okay, from the Swiggy system, he or she should be able to see all the restaurants available. So we will try to divide this into the three parts, end user, restaurant owner, admin interface and the delivery guy. We are talking about the first interface and trying to design the system for it. Okay, so this is a web application, right? So we can choose, okay, there is a React uh, front end framework we can use to build whole this design and how this is going to look like a simple one of search where you can do a card, sign in, offers, search, right? And you should be able to see the list of this is available. You can do the sign in based on your name and all. So front end interface will be something look like this okay so this is going to be in the react and our apis now if we try to define the apis so this is our react interface and before that we can uh, like here we are doing a local system design so we can say okay there is nginx and it is talking to your react on some route like on front end route it will render as the react application and whatever the request which is coming like forward slash API. Now your APIs can be okay REST or GraphQL based on uh, what you want to achieve and for forward slash index.html I forward slash you will be able to see your application rendering. Okay for the APIs we, we, we are choosing okay there is a GraphQL interface uh, we are going to have so Nginx will talk to GraphQL interface and then GraphQL can talk to uh, further microservices. Okay, so here we have all these services running. Like uh, there, there will be multiple services. So this is how we are going to achieve a microservice architecture. I mean, we will divide the services based on their business objective not because we want to isolate them okay and then they will further talk to their data source maybe a mysql mongodb or what this can talk to your firebase for managing the users okay firebase is managing its own uh, data okay then we have like uh, we can have a mysql database which can be RDS, I mean it's just a MySQL instance and another service like checkout service or whatever 
microservice we build it will have its own data source okay so this kind of system we are expecting to design okay it is a front end interface this is the back end api interface and in big, big back end api interface we will talk to a different services notification service authentication service start service checkout service and order service one service which will just manage the which is just fetching the list of restaurants and their menu items because that data is actually managed by restaurant owners and that is frequently changing right we will also think of introducing redis for some kind of a data which is which we can cache which is not frequently frequently changing okay so this is the system full stack system we are going to design and what we will decide is first we are going to define entity relationship model entity relationship because we are using node.js this is a node.js and we are going to spin up on the containers and we are going to use orms like sqlize type orm or we may end up writing the the mysql queries to fetch the data okay this is a database rds this is authentication authorization once that is done uh, graphql will receive the token and whatever the requests new are coming that will have the token available to it so this all the protected request will have a token with it and then we will again validate this token is valid or not through the authentication service and then th then only we will be able to fetch this data okay so first let's talk about the the user interface okay let's talk that in the next video thanks everyone so first we will actually define the entities entities in our whole system and we'll try to draw the entity relationship diagram